Hey everyone, Tim from 3D Vibes here, and in my last video, I was attempting to assemble an Ender 3 printer from Comgrow, a company that sells a lot of 3D printers. What I received was, well, the equivalent of a mystery loot box, or loot crate. The printers that they label refurbished or recently used, or even more recently, 99% new, are just Amazon returns that they straight up send to new victims. Well, after many days of work on it and two trips to the hardware store and throwing in many parts that I already had laying around, I was able to get it running. Let's recap the last video real quick. I saw the sale for a $79 Ender 3 3D printer. The product page says used instead of refurbished, which I haven't seen on Comgrow before, but well, it still had all the guarantee logos, so it seemed okay to me. They have a one year warranty logo and an easy return logo right next to the buy button. One after another, I see problems with the parts I received. There was no build surface. The hotbed plate was wildly warped. It was missing M4 screws. A stepper motor was dangerously placed back in the box. The vertical rails aren't square. The leveling springs are really worn out. And the gantry rail is defective and doesn't even accept the M4 screws. I was unable to finish building the printer, let alone test it. And if you haven't seen my last video, this is the response that Comgrow gave me after I emailed them. We don't have the parts you need, and I have no idea if it comes with that. Well, I sent another email and got this back. According to your order info, you bought a not repaired Ender 3 from our website, and the machine after sales support only technical service does not support the replacement parts. Hope you understand. What about that 100% guarantee symbol? Check out this email survey I got. Hi Tim, we fulfilled your order from our store, Comgrow Official Store, 14 days ago and would love to get your feedback. What do you think about our 99% brand new Creality Ender 3 from Amazon Rerun? I think I've received a box of defective parts that can't even make a 3D printer. On April 22nd, I see sales for the used Ender 3 are back up. And look at these guarantees. One year warranty, easy returns, uh, but you gotta scroll down the page to see the rest of it. No returns, no warranty. And look what they added this time. Think twice about buying. Ah, they should print that largely across the top of their website. I'd say think thrice and just don't buy from them at all. The M4 screws don't work to mount the gantry and M3 is way too thin. I even resorted to trying Imperial screws, which are easy to find where I live in the United States. Those didn't work either. I ended up using M3 screws with nylock nuts this is far from ideal, and it won't be quite as secure. It also makes it very painful to square the rail, and tighten the belt is also rough. But hey, it's on. Since the hotbed was so warped, the solution I came up with was to use a glass build surface clipped on just one side. I had to provide my own build surface anyways, and I had this laying around. The springs are so worn, it'll probably need leveled after every print, but I do have some extra yellow springs I can throw on later. And check it out, this thing actually prints. I was able to print most of this dog with the sample PLA pack. This is one of the test prints that comes on the SD card that comes with the machine. Too bad there wasn't enough of the sample PLA to finish printing the whole thing, but it actually looks quite good. I was expecting a complete train wreck. I also printed Chep's calibration cube. The Z-axis is right on with 20 millimeters, though X and Y are both at 19.8, but that's much better than I expected. This S-plug turned out pretty good too. This will test the clearance of fitted pieces. The S fits in the slot and can almost clear it without any post-print cleaning. I then printed this dragon egg because it looks pretty cool and I wanted to test the tolerance of the threads. And it actually screws on and off and it holds tightly and lines right up. To test a more lengthy print, I went with this Joy-Con controller. I wanted to see if the printer would shut down or mess up during a nine hour print. Well, would you look at that? Just shy of eight hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, look at this thing, guys. Pretty awesome. Very good design. In conclusion, you should just stay away from the Comgrow website and never buy any of their refurb machines. Their warranties are an illusion, and if you are going to buy from them, do it from Amazon, and be sure to take screenshots. I would recommend making sure you're buying from Creality and not Comgrow. Comgrow might have cheaper prices, but Creality has printers that can actually print. 
Anyways, I would love to hear from any of the other hundreds of customers that bought into this sale. Please leave your comments down below the video.